In this ad skills video, I'm going to be showing you how we use Banner Snack to create a bunch of HTML5 banner ads in just a few seconds. More on that right after this. All right, so let's talk about what Banner Snack is for a second. So, Banner Snack is a tool that helps you easily and quickly create display ads um, of a bunch of different sizes in standard ads, HTML5, animated ads, and even AMP ads. They're awesome. It's one of my favorite tools, and the nice part is it's not very expensive. It's a huge asset to you. I think it costs me like $200 a year, um, but it's an, a massively useful tool that I use all the time to help produce a bunch of image um, and, and animated ads extremely quickly. So let's talk for a second about why HTML5 ads are better. So movement equals attention. We're in the we're in the you know the area the era of banner blindness. So having static ads, do they get clicked on? Sure, but as you have a higher click through rate, your ads are served at a higher level because ad networks know they're going to get paid. What I've typically seen is that animated HTML5 ads get three times the CTR of static ads in most cases. In addition, Banner Snack helps you build them in all sizes, so you've got animation in just about every size possible, which is uh, you know, Google right now is moving towards these responsive ads. So it's the same ability to produce ads in all different sizes, except now you have animation on top in order to, you know, increase your click-through rate. So our top template, if you've seen anything that Justin teaches, this is one of the templates they utilize. Um, an image at the top, some uh, text here, a call to action, and a logo. Um, it's, it fits very much with Justin's top ads format. This is built right in the banner snack. No special setup required. It's already there. So big image, white bottom third, and we always use a green CTA button. I'll show you how to build those here in just a second. Most common size we use for these, 300 by 250, 728 by 90, 300 by 600 for the display ads. We use this on Power Inbox too. They've got three different sizes that we utilize most of the time. So it's really just figuring out what are the right sizes for the network you want to be serving on. So let's head over to Banner Stack and I'll show you how to build these. All right, so we're here in Banner Snack. I'm creating a new banner. Um, you can create single banners, banners or banner sets. I'm just going to show you how to create a banner set in the most common sizes. So 300 by 250, 728 by 90, and 300 by 600 right here. So I'm going to do those three. I'll click next. I want to use animated, and I'm going to use this setup. So, so you can see here, got three different ads. Um, we go ahead and switch out the logo. So I'm just going to put ad skills in here. Um, I am going to change up the button. So I'm just going to say like learn why and I'll change up the button color. I use this. It's 00AB66 is the color that I've used. It's worked extremely well. Feel free to test out whatever you want. Headlines. So um, I'm just going to use, I've been doing something for bloody pixels. So I'll show you what this looks like. So um, if you think tracking is boring, oops, boring, not boing. You've never seen this. Oops, too many words. We have 50 characters. So think tracking is boring. Um, wait till you see this. Something like that. Simple, clean. So you can see though, it's kind of offset here. Um, so what I always like to do is I would change this to Roboto Condensed. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to center it. I'm going to change the color to black. And then what I really like about this, so you can see it's applied to all of these, but with this one, you can just double click into these and you can actually change these. So I'm just gonna make that um, two different lines and move it up slightly. And that only changes this one. Do the same thing with this and I can add a new line um, and I can move this around if I want to. I'm not a designer, so I'm not gonna worry. Um, obviously I'd have someone who's more design inclined work on these than, I, than me. Um, but obviously you can just do this, make sure things are centered. You want to move them up, move them down. You can do whatever you need to. And now all of a sudden I've got a set of three banner ads. I'm going to change out my image. So I recently uploaded these bloody pixels images so I can have those in there. Um, the one thing you want to make sure that you do, oops, you can obviously upload images. Um, but the one thing I want to do, so you can see this one fits correctly. This one fits correctly, but this one does not. You can say um, exact fit. Nope. I want to use maintain aspect. There we go. So what you can do, obviously the 300 by 250, I would just come in and stretch this one out to make sure that this worked. Um, you can come back into this one, and if you want to increase these, you can stretch it up, you can stretch it down. You can do whatever you need to do with it. Obviously, 
Um, I'm not going to spend the time here showing you how all of this works. Um, but once again, I would just get this to move over so that looks like a decent size. And now we've got three banner ads that work. Image, background, if you need something, you can come in and change this. You can change it to black. I'm just going to leave it as white. So that's good there. Then what we want to do is move to our animation. So um, this is a five second play. So I'm just going to loop it. I would usually change this to loop twice. And then we would head over and apply the animation. I usually use bounce, so I'm just going to preview this. And now you can see we've got an animated ad. Um, repeat it. There you go. And like I said, since I put it for two, it's going to repeat twice. Then you can click apply and use. And then when you save these, you can save the name here. Um, so I'm just going to say example, add skills, add. Um, you can put in a click tag if you want to. You can set borders. You can do whatever you need to do with that. And then you click save. The other thing I really like about this, so I've started to use these a little bit on pre-sales um, because you can actually, let me show you the embed code here. Um, if I go to view and I look at the 300 by 250, so you can download as a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF that are static, or you've got animated. So you can use an HTML5 or the AMP ads. You can also use them a GIF or an MP4. So whatever the right fit is for you. If you want to show people what this looks like live, you can copy and send this link out to get approval for it. So individual, you can show the grid. Um, all you have to do is just copy the link that you need. And then the other piece here is the embed code. So you can do it inlay in a page, top of page, center, pop up, bottom overlay, whatever that is. Um, you can make this an iframe. And so we use a, a pre-sale tool called Wizzy. Um, one of the Ad Skills members, Ryan Shabelli, his company owns that. You can actually just embed this in the side of a pre-sale and so it'll actually float up and down and you have an animated banner inside of your advertorials that goes up and down. So that's really cool. You can also set it to responsive scale. Lots of cool stuff there. So um, I just think this is an amazing tool. The ability, you can see I just made these in like two minutes. So it's really a fantastic tool and I hope it's something that you find use out of. So um, if you're making a lot of banner ads and anything, make sure you check out Banner Snack. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button on the screen right now. Also, if you'd like to join the Daily Edge and get the daily dose of what's working in paid traffic and tracking, you can text Daily Edge to 44222.